This is AJ with Syntegration Development, and today we're going to go over the American Lighting DMX Gateway integration with Control 4, how to wire it, how to program it, and how to give your customer a really awesome color experience. These are the components that you'll need to set up an American Lighting DMX system. This is the American Lighting DMX Gateway. This piece of equipment takes our Control 4 ArtNet information and outputs it via this port um, DMX to all of the decoders below. This particular DMX decoder has an RJ45 input, so it makes it really easy for installation to come out of here, plug in right here. The DMX universe by default is zero and the DMX network is zero for all four of these ports. If you would like, you can adjust them in settings. These are the DMX decoders for this installation. These are legacy four channel DMX decoders. This is the current five channel DMX decoder from American Lighting. All the decoders are daisy chained together via a DMX loop. The black DMX decoders have an RJ45 that makes it very easy for connecting. The legacy units use Phoenix terminals. This five channel DMX decoder along with these other four DMX decoders are all connected to this single power supply. Please check your documentation for correct specs and proper power supply sizing. Each DMX decoder needs to have an address. The address is the starting point of the DMX channeling. So in this case, this particular DMX decoder starts at address 21 and goes up from there. Since this is a five channel decoder, that would mean that red is 21, green is 22, blue is 23, white is 24, and white two is 25. Now we're gonna go over how to integrate DMX lighting with control four. Okay, let's set up the driver. So if the driver is already properly uh, connected to the network, you should be able to see it under the Discovered tab, and it should be listed right here under American Lighting. Simply double-click, and it adds it to the project. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to select the highest DMX channel that you're using. In that test system that we were just using, the highest channel was 26, so let's set it to 26. Out of the box, the DMX network is zero, and the DMX universe is zero. Uh, you can change these if you need to for your custom installations. Once that's done, you're gonna go to search and you're gonna add your light strips that you want to control in your project. And in this demonstration, we're only gonna connect one tape light. When you first add the driver in, it will automatically rename itself to whatever the name of the room is, lights. So in this case, it changed it to smart lighting lights. The next step you're going to do after it's added is you're going to go down here to light type. You're going to change it from RGB to whatever the proper tape light that you have. So in this case, we are going to be connecting it to an RGB TW light. The next thing is you're going to go into connections. You're going to go into the connections tab from the DMX gateway, or you can go from the light back to the DMX gateway. I prefer to go from the DMX gateway, so let's do it that way. So the first address of that black DMX decoder was 21. That was the red. 22 was green, 23 was blue, white one or warm was 24, and 25 was cool white. Once that's been added, the driver is in and you are done. So now we're going to show the driver in a real world application. In this case, we have LED tape light underneath this cabinet and we have toe kick lighting underneath here. This is RGBW tape light. And as you can see, I can turn it down. I can change the, I can turn it up from the control four. I can change, this will be the, the toe kick. So we can make the toe kick red or we can make the toe kick blue and we can make the under cabinet. We can make it red or make it blue or make it green or even do temperature changes. We're happy to announce the release of our American Lighting full color integration driver with Control 4.